Hey guys, it's Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates, and today I've got a simple silhouette tutorial for you. So today I thought I'd show you how to um, curve text in Silhouette Studio. Um, this is useful if you want to, you know, make a decal and curve your text around the top and the bottom of a decal or any design where you want your text to be curved and not straight. Um, so let's get started. So um, I opened up Silhouette Studio and so what you're going to do is just click on the text tool on the left hand side and type out your text. I'm going to do something very simple like hello. And if you would like to change your font, it's up here. So you can click and select your text and you can change your font through this drop down menu right here. And um, in Silhouette Studio, any font that you have loaded on your computer is available to use in Silhouette. So I'm just going to keep this basic font. It's the uh, Lucida Grande, I think is Lucida Grand. Um, not exactly sure how to say that, but we'll keep this one. So I'm just going to expand this or enlarge this a little bit like that. Now, next what you have to do is you have to draw um, a shape that you want your text to curve around. So the shape tool is over here on the left, or it's uh, called draw drawing tools, I think. And we're just going to choose a circle since we want curved text. And then if you hit hold down shift and click and drag, your circle will be um, a perfect circle proportionate. So, oops, delete that one. There we go. Okay, so you have your circle. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's a little bit more proportional with the text. Okay, so you have your circle and you have your text. And now all you do is click on your text, double click on it, and a green box pops up around it. And if you see in the lower left hand corner of the green box, there's this circle um, kind of with a black cross in it. And what you're going to do is click and drag that cross down till it hits your circle. And your text will then be curved around the circle. Um, in order, if you want to ad adjust anything with the text at this point, like if, if you want to make it smaller or like more like close together or more spread out, you can do that by dragging this slider. Um, also, you can change the uh, space between the letters. If you come over here to the text, text style panel and click on that, you can go down here to character spacing and if you want to reduce or increase the, the um, space between your letters, you can do it right there. What happens if we want um, our text to be uh, on the bottom of the circle here? So all you have to do is click on this uh, black and white circle here and drag your text to the bottom. like that. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky, so you got to um, sometimes play around with it until you get it on the, to look the way you want it. So right now it's on the inside of the circle and um, I want it to be on the outside down here. So I found that the easiest way to do that is to do it with this little slider right here. So if I slide it like that, I can move it to the outside of the circle and then to adjust the spacing between the letters I just come over here and I I adjust with the character spacing like so and then you can move it into place okay so now that we have the uh, the text the way we want it so oops we have to um, See, if you delete the circle, 
your text goes back to just straight and not curved. So in order to be able to delete the circle and have your text stay as it is, you have to select the text and go to Object, Make Compound Path. And then you can come in and delete the circle and your text stays the way it is. Now if you wanted to keep the circle and cut the circle out, that would be fine as well. So if you like this tutorial, please subscribe and you can find more tutorials like this on my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks for watching.